Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm excited to try some new product that just arrived here to Sweden and I'm talking about some products from Berry M brand. I haven't watched any videos or reviews about this product about these products but I'm kind of excited to try them out. I have the primer, uh, lip gloss, mascara and I also have uh, the products that I haven't been using in a while that I want to try out again. I forgot what I think about them. I haven't been using them for months and I think it's maybe time to see my thoughts. And I also am going to create another look from this palette. Now I got some requests to try to use these green shades and I thought that I would today. So if you're inter interested to see what products I'm going to try out today and what products I'm going to use, then please keep on watching. haven't subscribed either please subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified every, every time I upload a new video and that will mean a lot to me so we are going to start with the this baby now I love this um, palette and I haven't been using I have been using it a lot but but I'm going to create a makeup look because you guys wanted me to so we let's start and I also am going to use uh, this lip lip liner no eyeliner from Belle Cosmetics uh, some of you wanted to see that on my eyes and of course two of you guys actually two of my subscribers wanted to see that on my eyes and of course that matters a lot what you want to see and I'm creating that for you guys but don't judge me if they don't look beautiful. I am going to try out the Ole Henriksen Truth Bright Theme Aging Serum. Now, I know I tried this two years ago and I think I liked it, but I am kind of surprised that I didn't purchase it because I remember getting it in one of my subscription boxes. I think it was in Glossy Box uh, two years ago. And I was very happy because I heard very good things about this. And I took it with me when I was in Croatia for two years ago uh, on my vacation. And I used the whole small packaging, of course, because I wanted to see if I liked it so I could repurchase it. I never repurchased it. I don't know, was it because I really didn't like it or because I didn't see any results? What's the reason? I don't know. But let's see. I know this smells wonderful mm, it smells oranges I love that smell mm, so fresh it sinks into the skin very fast actually I don't have any any moisturizer on my skin I'm not actually going to use it e either so that feels nice a little bit sticky feels good but I want to try this primer this is the pixie skin blurring beauty elixir from Berry M it says he reduced the appearance of pores imperfections and fine lines with these skin blurring elixir drops filled with healing aloe vera and other good stuff I'm not going to read everything here but blurry my pores huge pores that sounds good Let's see this is how it looks, white, liquidy, hmm, smells fresh. Let's see if it's looking blurry. Oh, it feels cold. Nice. It doesn't feel thick, but it doesn't feel thin either. It has that middle texture. It dries down very fast. Oh, and feels cold, refreshing, just a little bit sticky, which I like. I can't really see if it's blurring right now. Maybe when I apply my foundation, but so far, I mean, it's not bad, but definitely continue using it. Okay, we are going to use this Uma Stay What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I have it in shade Fair Lady TN, T to N. Um, I don't know. I think I like this foundation. I don't remember. It's been sitting here and I just want to use it again. 
this is how it looks. I'm going to use first a brush. I think I'm going to go in with a brush and then go and blend it with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. We said we are going to start with our eyes first, didn't we? Yes, we did. Well, <laughs> you see, well, we'll bake. So we, because this has some fallout, uh, it's nothing major, but I wanted to do my eyes first. But you see, I forget. Let's see how this looks. Well, not bad, not bad. Uh, it does look like a half foundation. This foundation is definitely visible, but it's not bad. It doesn't look though heavy, heavy, but you can see that I do have foundation on. Chuve concealer in shade Wheat, which this concealer I really like. I repurchased this couple of times. I do have plenty of concealers, concealers, no. Concealers, but I've repurchased this couple of times because I really like the results How it looks on my skin. The other concealer I want to repurchase is the NYX one We are going to set everything And I'm going to use a powder that I haven't been using in a long long time and it's Airspun powder. I haven't been using that in a long while. So I'm going to use that today. It has a strong scent to it, but I like this powder. Don't breathe. So let's go with the palette. I want to use the those more gray, not gray, but green shades, like you asked me to. And I love when you ask me to do a makeup look for you guys. Let's go in and I am going to uh, first of all, I'll go in with this shade, Shotgun. This lime bright green shade. Tip of the excess and we're going to use this in the crease. These are pigmented, but they also blend very easy. So this is looking crazy right now, but I promise you it will look beautiful at the end of this makeup look. So I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush. I'm going to take this NYX blending brush that I got from my friend Valerie. I don't know what number it is, but it doesn't matter. Faded, take this NYX green shade and we are going to deep up the crease. And we are going to blend. Of course, you can take a brown shade into the crease and make this look more wearable, but I think every look is wearable. Just wear it, doesn't matter what day it is or where you're going. For me, I can wear, I'm, I work like a teacher, I can wear this colorful look to the work too. Everybody's actually used to see me with colorful makeup looks, so. And I'm going to use this shimmery shade today just to show you because I uh, how it looks. I know I said in my last video when I reviewed this palette that it it needs to be built up. And I want to show you guys how I've been using it and how I like it. You can probably hear my sounds playing in the next room. They're very loud. A flat brush and I'm going to take this shade here, the deep green, and place it like here, and blend. Then I'm going to take my finger and go into this shimmery shade. See guys, just first and just show you how it looks. 
This is when you want this nice, soft, shimmery look. But I want to build it up, so I'm going to take a brush, build it up with a brush. I'm going to take this Ofra Professional number 11 brush, and I'm going to take that shimmery shade, and we're going to wet it. I'm going to, going to put it on the other eye so you can see the difference. So that's the difference with finger and then building it up with a wet brush. I'm going to go in with the liner now. And I am going to use a different brush today. I'm going to use this brush. This is 333 from Linda Halbert. It's a very nice brush. Take some of that here and just, you know, go back and forward, dip it in and try to create a wing. Wish me luck. This is so easy to use. I don't know if you can see guys, but it's so easy to use, even for me. Nice. I make such a funny face when I do my eyeliner. That's stunning. Love, love, love this a lot really like it. I also also like using this and create a, try to create like a line and then use my mascara and then use a very dark lipstick. That's how I be liking this liner. It looks nice. Okay, it doesn't look terrible if you don't look very close. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to go now and use this palette to do my low lash lines. We're going to go in with this a dark green shade, of course and just blend it. I'm going to take this shade and blend. And of course I want to go in with shotgun, this first shade, and go even lower. I'll remove my powder. I'm going to do my eyelashes before we continue. Before I apply any eyelashes, I want to try a new mascara and I'm going to try this Showgirl. Maybe we don't even need eyelashes, we'll see. I want to show, try the Showgirl from Berry M. And for me, the name of this tells me, name of this mascara tells me that I'm going to have long, thick lashes that are going to look like I'm performing. Like I'm going to go and on stage. So let's just pray. Maybe we don't need any eyelashes. We'll see. Let's see. Is there any product here? Okay, let's see. This is with one coat. Let's see if we can build it up before I say anything. The brush is nice, it kind of uh, separates the eyelashes, okay? The formula is a little bit, I don't know, it's not too thick, but it's not, but it feels like it's thin. It doesn't really want to stick on the lashes. I don't know. It doesn't look, okay, okay. I like it now. It's giving me everyday look, like nice 
flattery lashes, but showgirl, I don't really know. We are going in with eyelashes. Uh, I'm not hating this mascara though, it looks beautiful. Uh, it will look beautiful with the natural makeup look. With this makeup look, we do need lashes, we do need drama. This is just too cute for this makeup look, but I don't hate the mascara, I just feel like it's very thin texture, so I need to build up my lashes, or build up the mascara on my lashes. And I don't know what pair this is, I've used them before, so I have no idea, it's outside the box. Oh, mascara transformed here, hmm, interesting. We are back and lashes are done. I think it's time for bronze and I've used this product I think twice maybe three times and I did like it but I, I just don't use it anymore. This is Urban Glow Heat Wave Bronzer in one. This is a beautiful shade and I really like this bronzer so I thought that I will use it again today. Uh, it looks dark but it's very nice and easy to work with and also to build up so it suits many skin tones. You can go in light with it or you can go and build it up to make if you want it to be a little bit dark, darker. So we are going to warm up this face because I look pale and I need dimension. I'm not going to be precise with this bronzer on my nose. No, no, nope, not today. And if you know, I like to go in a little bit extra with my bronzer. I talk funny today. I don't know why, guys. So sorry for that. Okay, so we are going to go in with the blush. And for the blush, I'm going to use this CoverGirl Instant Cheek 3 year that I got from my friend Valerie. And I've used this a couple of times. I think I got four or five different shades. Uh, this specific one I've used only once. So I thought I would use it again. I'm going to go in with this smaller brush, go into this pan these are very nice you can see this is in shade Ref Refined Rose I've used those others um, when I'm not filming, they are very easy to work with, uh, but I haven't been using this one a lot. So, okay, I'm going to go then in with this shade, a little bit darker shade with the same brush and build it up here. give the cheek a little bit dimension. We are going from soft to darker brown. And then I'm going to go in with this shade, which is very uh, interesting shade. What I like about these is when you go with the blush, over the blush, it gives like a glow. <laughs> Doesn't look that, but it looks very nice, like a highlighter. I like that. Interesting. Nip and Fab Eyebrow Pencil, in the, and this is in shade brown. Now this shade is a little bit lighter than the one I've used. I used a darker one and I've used it up, so this is a very, very nice product. But I haven't been using this in a long time, so I want to and use it again because I like this. Uh, the shade, it's Big Miss Warmer color. I like mine to be a little bit more ashy, so it's not really perfect shade for me though. But who's looking? So I'm going to blend it here, go through the eyebrows. Well, they are not twins, they are sisters, so they're not matching. They have different personalities too. Okay, okay, okay. I think we need, we need a highlighter. And for the highlighter, I am going to use this one, also from Urban Glow. I've used this one never. I used it once in the video when I tried this product, but I haven't been using it after that video because of the shade. 
the shade was a little bit too dark for me, but I have liked the texture, so let's go in then. I like this one. I like the highlighter. And I have a new product that I want to use from, from Berry M. I have here the Think That's XXL Swell Extreme Lip Plumper. Uh, and I have it in shade Serve, Serve, Swear, 003, I don't know, 003 shade. Looks like this. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this somewhere, but I have not used this one. I'm going to go in with NYX lip liner. This is in shade Nude. Shade Nude. Love this lip liner. I'm excited to try this lip gloss. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Okay. Try not to get it onto the skin. It tickles a little bit on the lips. It looks nice. We are going to set. Let's set. Uh, I wanted to use the, where is it? Let's just go in with L'Oreal. Can't find the, pro the setting spray I wanted to use, so. Oh God. I licked my lips. Should not have done that. Oh. Strong. Now I can feel it on my lips too, and my thumb. I like this primer because this primer made my uh, uh, me like this uh, foundation a little bit more. I like this blush. Uh, let's take this off. It's time to take this off. So guys, this is the final look with my messy hair today. Don't bother. I'm not going to go and fix it up because we are going to bed soon. So let's just leave it like it is. But I really like this makeup look I really like stop licking your lips <sighs> mm. burns a little bit on my tongue right now does it make my lips look plumpier I don't know does it it burns I can feel, I don't hate the texture, but I apply a little bit too much because I, I have a bad habit of licking my lips when I have lip, lipsticks or lip glosses on, which is a bad thing when I'm trying these kind of plumpy products. So hmm, that's not good, but let's go back. I do like this um, uh, makeup look. I do like the products I've used today. I do like the mascara. I'm not really sure. I need to try this mascara again, the Shogrek. Ah, <laughs> I was expecting to be that like more of that Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara or uh, any Too Faced mascaras. I think they make, I don't like the too Better Than Sex mascara. Uh, I like that how it, my eyelashes look, but it, that flakes and make my under eyes look so dark. But I like that how it looks. That looks more like a show girl. This, eh. Not really, I need to try it out again, I know. I am not really sure about this mascara. Please let me know down below if you try this. These lip glosses comes in different shades. <sighs> my lips, I feel like my lips look a little bit plumpier. Uh, it is a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, now when I talk, I can't really concentrate. I just think about my lips. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I, I know it's supposed to do that. So, I mean, I tried the Too Faced lip injection. I like that one too. So uh, I feel like this is a little bit stronger, but I liked really uh, the elixir. I like this product. So I'm definitely going to experiment it more and try it with different foundations, but I feel like it blurred. Uh, and uh, I feel like this foundation feels a little bit lighter on the skin and uh, it looks a little bit better than it did last time I tried it. So. I, I kind of like this product. So this is maybe a big win and, and the lip gloss too. It's uncomfortable, but <laughs> maybe it works. We don't know. 
and Melt Cosmetics. I'm obsessed. I need to try more of this. But guys, that was everything. Please let me know down below if you've tried any of Berry M's product and is there any product you think I'm going to like or you're interested in me trying out. Please let me know down below and I can see if I can get my hands on it and try it myself and maybe do a video if you're interested of that. Please let me know down below what you thought about this video. This was just a simple video of me trying different products or using again a product I haven't been using a lot. I like these kind of videos. It's relaxed, it's chilled, we just spent some time together and these videos are also interested for me to watch. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I hope I see you again. I love you all. Bye guys.